The ultimate goal is really to develop tools that can help the doctors make more informed decisions about how to treat the aneurysm and what course of action to take. Really, the more information the doctor has, the better decision making they can do. Basically what I do is study the dynamics of blood flow in brain aneurysms. I work off of simulations that have been developed by my advisor, Dr. Sabral, for the last 20 years. What he's been doing is, is using image-based CFD, computational fluid dynamic simulations, to recreate the hemodynamics in brain aneurysms. See, the, the left carotid should be like this, and that artery is actually this one. Mm -hmm. The thing that most interested me about Dr. Sabral's research was that it was a, a really interesting application to something that, that I was already interested in, fluid dynamics. And the process starts with an image. We get the image from the hospital, we recreate a three-dimensional model and simulate the blood flow over the cardiac cycle inside the aneurysm. My goal, or my research, is to, to take this simulation and really to try to understand the dynamics of the blood flow and break it down both in time and space, simplify it, and then try to pull out variables that are correlated to rupture and growth and really understand what mechanisms are driving the, the evolution of the aneurysm. Our research base is, is focusing in assess the risk of an aneurysm. So if, if a patient is detected with an aneurysm, then what is the risk of that patient to develop a hemorrhage? So that's where Greg is working on. He's trying to understand how these blood flows relate to the rupture of aneurysms. One of the characteristics that I've found most helpful and that's, that's fairly unique to Dr. Sabral, he gives me a lot of flexibility to look into ideas that I have or ideas that I would like to try, but it's very nice to have that flexibility. After graduating from this PhD program in computational sciences, you can do anything because you have the background in math, you have a background in physics, you have a background in fluid mechanics, and you have all the skills related to computing, high performance computing, visualization. So it's, it's, a, it's, it's a unique combination of multidisciplinary skills, and that allows you to work in many, many different fields. It's very nice to go to school and you, you learn all these things and you want to apply them somewhere. You know, everyone kind of has a, an underlying desire to really apply what you've learned somewhere. And it's nice when you can apply it in, in a place that really can help other people out. To me, my research is interesting, fun, and if it can save even one life, it's all worth it.